Good afternoon and or good evening and welcome to our what could be the last episode of FIFA news ever. Actually taking a pretty nice little break from FIFA news just to see exactly how it goes down on my channel. So if this is the last one, this could be the finale of FIFA news. And I definitely want to know your feedback on what you guys think of that. Before we get started in this video, if you guys are interested in getting some FIFA 13 Ultimate Team coins, check out FIFAUTCoinster.com. They're a very fast service, they get the coins to you within 5-10 to 10 minutes, and they're reliable. I'm going to have links in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started with the big news we had today, though, at Gamescon with FIFA 14. They went ahead, or Gamescom, I'm sorry, I say that incorrectly every time. They went ahead and they had a little EA um, press release today. And there was a few things that highlighted it that I thought were really interesting, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with those, and those are going to take up a lot of my non-FIFA YouTuber part of FIFA news. And that had to be that the Xbox version, or the Xbox 360, and I think I believe the Xbox One version, are going to have what they call the FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Legends. Now this is going to be 40 different legends of a lot of ancient, as I would consider them, players, or what they would consider legends, great in their time, and you're going to be able to use these cards and build teams around them with current legends that we have, so you can have, you know, like Messi and other players together with these people, which is really awesome, and it's exclusive only to Xbox One and Xbox 360, so PlayStation users, wow, I can't even speak, PlayStation users will not get a chance to be able to have this feature, which kind of stinks for them, and it's pushing some players, obviously, who want to play with these players towards the Xbox version. We won't know entirely, though, until the game comes out. Also, a huge deal is now they're going to have co-op seasons. Now, they didn't say this would happen for FIFA Ultimate Team, which I'm really hoping will be the case because that would be even more exciting. But to have co-op seasons where you can get, say, one YouTuber can get on with another YouTuber and go all the way from Division 10 down to Division 1 is going to be simply amazing. It's going to be a huge feature that FIFA definitely has needed in the past. Let's hope it's going to be an Ultimate Team, although I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be the case. That is going to be a big deal, though, and that is huge for them to announce that. Not to mention that the biggest thing that we have been waiting for is to know is if FIFA 14 will be out at the launch of Xbox One as well as PlayStation 4. And it showed it, I don't know if you got to see it on the end of the trailer, but it said available at launch. It showed some of the new uh, in-game material where they do like the flyovers of the stadium, they show the crowds, and they showed some of the gameplay. And I thought it looked exceptional. I can't wait to play it at Eurogamer. That's going to be the first time I get my hands on the next-gen console. And so I'm super excited about that. And it looks like it's going to be amazing. It looks like FIFA and EA have some great things ahead. They're going to have a bunch of stuff going on. Really excited about it. Can't wait for that uh, FIFA event to come out or some of those FIFA events where we get to see more of the game. So really excited for that to happen. And I can't wait to see what comes out of Gamescom with some of our YouTubers that we have there. Now moving on to our more FIFA community section of FIFA news. In our milestone report, we have quite a few for this week. We have Bateson87 hitting 120,000 subscribers. Jack54HD hit the big 100,000 subscriber mark. We have KSI hitting 3.2 million subscribers. My oh my, is he growing every day. Nepenthe is hitting the big 350,000 subscribers. Finch hit 25,000 subscribers. He's a quarter of 100,000. He's working his way up there. Tobias Gaming hitting 125,000 subscribers. Two Sync FIFA hit 55,000 subscribers. And Rota Shaw continuing to grow to greatness at 170,000 subscribers. Congratulations to you guys. You definitely deserve all of those. Hopefully yours truly will be hitting 40,000 before this month ends. I'm hoping. We'll see how it goes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why the hell not? You should. Now on to our more up-and-coming YouTuber section of FIFA News, and this could quite possibly be the last up-and-coming YouTuber that I ever get to announce to y'all. And I decided to choose, after going through quite a few channels and seeing a lot of what's been going on on Twitter lately, I decided to choose FIFA Monsta. Now this is a really good English YouTuber, at least from what I've seen. He's got about 3,800 subscribers. Some of the videos that I went through and watched was um, some potential player ratings for FIFA 14, which I really like to see because I have no idea what the player ratings are going to be like for FIFA 14. And I've seen these made by quite a few YouTubers, and it's really interesting to watch. Not to mention he's got a FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Henri's Prime Time, which is kind of awesome, um, based on Henri, which is the French MLS player, if I'm not mistaken. And then he also does pink slips, which everybody loves to see. Everybody loves to have a chance to win those big name cards, and he gives you that chance. On top of that, he throws in some funny things like Omegle, so it's a really awesome channel. He just recently did this rap that I got to see last night, 
where I believe KSI put out a rap called Competition, which was kind of like, I don't know what went on with that or what it was for. And then he went and he did like a rebuttal to that. And it was pretty much based on, I have no idea how KSI has sold out is what I see it as. I think it was just him trying to do like a play on words and he wasn't really at him. It was all for banter. So we'll see exactly how that goes. But you might want to check that out and see what you guys think. Let me know in the description, or in the description, I always say that in the comments down below. Let me know what you think went on with that. And now for the last but not least section of FIFA news and what we usually have as the goal compilation and montage search, I'm going to go ahead and in the last FIFA news that we have here for a while, I'm going to have a graphic search. And I didn't have to search very far because I actually have a FIFA guy who does my graphics who is quite amazing and everybody's always looking for somebody who can do thumbnails for them or can do some other type of channel art or anything like that. But you definitely have to look no further than what I have as Kai. He has a great channel that he's already got on started up. It's got like one video on it now where he shows his speed art and you'll see this with a lot of these graphics guys where they'll show you their speed art and exactly how they do it. And they want to build their channels and they want to build the people that they make these thumbnails for. So I definitely want to check him out. Not sure exactly how many subscribers he has right now, probably like close to 5 to 10 because he just started it, but I think we should push him towards that 100 subscriber mark and maybe he'll give you the chance to be able to get graphics from him though. The channel is I'm Kai Designs, that's spelled I-M-K-A-I Designs. Really good, really reliable, so definitely check him out, maybe hit him up if you need some thumbnails for yourself. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of FIFA News. Now, I do know that you guys might be sad. Some people might be happy. Let me know what you think about the thought that probably in the next few weeks, I'm not going to have it. I'm going to see exactly how that goes on my channel. If you did like this video, though, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why the hell not? You should subscribe already. And until next time, get Fang Bang Nerds.